everybody my name is Chrissy and this is Haunted in the Heights. So this is my new YouTube channel where we look at things that are haunted in New York City. So today we're going to head to the uh, the Morris Jumel Mansion in Washington Heights and we're going to sit down in the park and have a spirits box section. As you can imagine New York City is a very busy busy place and it can be hard actually to get into some of these haunted locations without a lot of disruption and disturbances. But what's cool about this site is it's kind of secluded. It's kind of secluded. So the Morris Jubel Mansion is the oldest house on Manhattan Island. And it has an incredible history that stretches back before the American Revolution. So if you're interested more in the history, go ahead and click up here somewhere. Um, for a really brief overview I did a couple years ago on one of my other YouTube channels. I'm actually going to be placing it on this YouTube, cha YouTube channel as well. And if you're interested in seeing a ghost hunt inside the mansion, click here. Because I was able to do that just about a week ago. Nowadays, the mansion sits on a beautiful public park here in New York City. It is open during daylight hours. Um, and you can go in and tour the mansion. I think it's Thursday through Sunday. Um, you can go in, it's not that expensive. It's actually really beautiful inside. Um, yeah. So we're gonna find a spot to just sit down with her box and I'll show you the mansion. So, though it's very quiet, um, there's a street right below down here, um, and there are people right over there. <laughs> so, I'm going to sit on one of these park benches here, try to get situated, excuse me, try to get situated. And this is the first time I'm using the spirit box, but it's not the first time I've had contact with spirits. Um, I actually have a long history of spirits connecting with me through touch, through sound, through seeing them <laughs> um, from time to time. And no, I'm not crazy. I'm just a little bit psychic. Um, they've communicated through dreams. But now I'm curious to see if we can have more direct communication. So I'm gonna get everything set up and I'll be right back. The spirit box I will be using, um, it is not doing on screen what you see the numbers doing right now. It's, it's normal. I'm about to hit scan. I'm also going to record what we capture so that if for some reason there's extra external noise, I can review it later to hear better. But the mansion is right there, so let's scan. Hi, is anybody out here with me? I come in love, light, and peace. Yes, you're here. Okay, we're getting a lot of FM channels. Can you tell me what your name is? Someone out here with me? Download the Caleb. Can I come in love, light, and peace? So we're going to try the AM mode because the FM mode was not working. Hi. I come in love, light, and peace. Is anybody here who wants to speak with me? Weather check. Anybody out here? 
short answer. Thanks for watching. Is anybody from the Morris Jumo Mansion out here with me? Ben. My name is Chrissy, and I was here last week. Is anybody out here with me? So tell me, I was in the house this last week, and the lights were going on and off. Can you tell me about that? Do you know who did that? Me. Well, somebody just told me to leave. <laughs> so I'm going to get up and move to another spot um, because I need to leave. I think I heard a couple other very short things in there. But let me go ahead and get up. They don't want me in this spot. Let's try a different one. I will say because it's New York City, um, there's a lot of people around. <laughs> there's always a lot of people around. So it's really hard to come into a place like this and get some time to yourself. There's folks over there's like this really nice little ornamental garden. Some folks are sitting in right now, listening to some stuff. I might just have to go on the front lawn by one of the trees and see. There's also folks right here, kind of towards the front of the house. <sighs> okay, we're gonna try this again. Um, there's like one of the tour guides is talking to people about the ghosts in the house right now. <laughs> Not a surprise. Okay, so we're gonna try Scanning again, I'm gonna turn it on. Make sure we're gonna to go to AM mode because that FM mode in New York, it's just music. Okay, so I'm gonna start scanning. I'm gonna press record now. And there are people walking behind me. Hi, is there anybody here with me tonight? My name is Chrissy. I come in love, light, and peace. It's a beautiful autumn day here. What's your name? Is anybody here with me? The Jumel Mansion is right behind me. The Morris Jumel Mansion. Do you know anybody that lives in the Morris Jumel Mansion? Is anybody with me? Is someone here with me? People in New York City. It's, it's a lot of people here in New York City. What do you think about that? Stephen? I heard Stephen. Stephen Jumel? Are you there, Stephen? Stephen, are you with us? Steven, are you in the house? No. Are you here with me outside the house right now? I heard something right there. I'm not sure what it said. Bonjour, Steven. Comment ça va? Ça va bien? Steven Jumel, are you with me? Can you? This house is so beautiful and it's so historic. What do you think of that? What do you think of Aaron Burr? What do you think of that man? I 
want to thank you for being out here with me and talking to me. Do you remember me from the other night when all the guests came into the house? Do you remember that? Do you remember me coming in and turning off the lights? You're trying to? Yeah, there were people there, right? Yeah, there were people in the house that night and you were turning the lights on and off and telling us you were there. Do you remember that? Do you like when people come to visit your house? I told you I would come back and visit. I told you I lived in the neighborhood. Do you remember that? Well, Stephen, is it Stephen I'm speaking to? The wife of? Eliza, is that you? Not the wife of? Well, I want to thank everybody who's come to see me today. Yeah, are you surprised you can talk to me? Yes, you're surprised? Well, I'm glad I can talk to you and give you a voice. Is there anything you want to tell people? Connect. Oh, and there are folks coming, so I'm going to turn you off. Thank you so much for speaking to me today. So I don't want to get the babies in the shot. <laughs> but it seems like we got some responses, which is really cool. I'm really um, thinking I might go into the house. Um, see if I can do a self-guided tour real quick. So I spoke to somebody in the museum and they said I could use the spirit box in here. So we're going to. So we are currently in Washington's war room. This is where General George Washington and his staff planned out the Battle of Harlem Heights. They were here for a month. Um, what I feel in this space and what I felt during the ghost investigation I did this last weekend was there's like a lot of movement, like a lot of people moving around and around these these um, tables. Now there's somebody else up here, so I don't want to disturb them. So I'm gonna kind of turn this off and come back on when they've gone. Hi, my name is Chrissy. I come in love, light, and peace. I'm gonna go ahead and start scanning and you can speak into this box and we can communicate. Who is in here with me? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me what you were doing in this room? Thousands? What happened in this room? Map? And brokered? Can you tell me more about this room? Were you on the British government side or were you on the American revolutionary side? Did you take a side in the revolutionary war? Yes? Can you tell me which side you were on? What year? What year were you in this house?
Is there anybody here with me still? Not him? I think I said not him. I want to thank you for speaking with me. Do you remember me from the other night? Your voice is coming through rather faintly. Well, thank you again for speaking with me. So, seems like we got a little bit of response, but not a ton, but I'll review all of this to see. I am in this really cool thing where they've created, um, photograph using light. Um, I'm trying to remember what it's called. It is called an Obscurus Projectum. And when I was here during the ghost hunt, there was actually quite a bit of um, just a lot of red pop activity right outside this room. All right, so I'm going to turn this on. All right, here we go. Hi, my name is Chrissy. I come in love, light, and peace. Hello? Who's there? Is there somebody with me? I heard your voice again. Cries? Who's in the space with me? They're down at the river? It's nice to hear your voices. We're right by General George Washington's war room. Did you know General George Washington? You did? Did you think he was a good man? Do you want to tell me something about yourself? Yeah, this thing's new. Workers. You're workers? Can you tell me your name? This thing can't hurt you. You can just talk into it and then you can tell me your name. Warning. Do you like when people come to visit you? Well, thank you so much for speaking with me. I'm going to change rooms now. We are now in William Chase's room. This is the room, wow, the energy is heavy in here. Um, yeah, this is the room where I've got a lot of energy coming off of. There's a water, you see that ceramic water pitcher? That's where it came off of. So I just want to see if anybody's in here. FM mode. AM mode. Hi, my name is Chrissy. I come in love, light, and peace. Is there anybody in this room with me? something touch my forehead or touch my head who touched me unlawfully did somebody, did somebody touch me I 
I gotta go. Should I leave this room? Should I leave? Or is this room, is this room safe for me? Can you repeat that? Is this room safe? People? Is this room where you like to hang out? A hundred what? This is how the children outside playing, guys. Okay. Thank you so much for trying to speak to me. Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone and give you your space. We're now in the Aaron Burr room. Um, this is actually, that chair right there is where um, some of the musical Alexander Hamilton was, or Hamilton was written by Lin-Manuel Miranda. That was a fun fact to learn this weekend. All right, so we're gonna put this on in here. The feeling in this room is lighter than the chase room. Hi, is anybody in here with me? I come in love, light, and peace. Yes, who's in here with me? Can you say your name? Sorry, can you say that again? So, can you tell me who you are? I'm really interested in learning who you are. This weekend you talked to me. Do you remember that through the candles? Huh? Somebody did in this room. It was you? Can you tell me who you are? Are you Stephen Jumel? Business? Yeah, he was a businessman. Can you tell me about Stephen Jumel? What do you think about Aaron Burr? What do you think about the man? Say that again? Can you tell me more about who you are? Do you want to speak to me? Do you like do you like when people come visit you? Yeah, this is a radio. Uh-huh. Okay, well, I want to thank you so much for trying to communicate with me. I really appreciate it. Write about it? Well, thank you again so much. I really appreciate you. What I find very interesting about this is that you get like similar voices over and over, even though it's supposed to be a different FM frequency. I do find that interesting. So now we're walking into Eliza Jumel's bed chamber. Um, this room has a very um, calm, I would say, very serene, but like, you know, when you're around an older person, that kind of just like solid feel they kind of have when they're just calm people, that's what it feels like in here. So Miss Eliza, FM mode. 
I want to thank you for letting me come into your bedroom. My name is Chrissy. How are you today? Can you tell me about yourself? I, yeah, you can play with this. Can you tell me your name? Is it possible for you to tell me your name? I was sitting in here the other night on the floor. Do you remember that? There was a big group of us. It was on Sunday night. And we enjoyed being in here with you. What year was this? This was 2023. What year do you remember? That's the sound of the radiator, everybody. <laughs> what do you want to tell me about your life? You get old? Time? What advice would you give me to be able to live such a long life? Is there any advice you want to give people? Can you tell me your name? Do you want Do you want me to leave the space? Ms. Eliza, thank you so much for sharing your space with me. Thank you for letting me come in. You lived an incredible life. We are in the Oxagon room now. Um, it's a beautiful space. <laughs> the sound of the radiators in here is really loud. I'm not gonna do a spare box section in here right now because the the gift shop is right next door and there are guests in here. But it's a beautiful space. So I'm here in the dining room. I will do a spare box session in here. Okay, let's turn it on. AM mode. AM mode. AM mode. All right. Hi, my name is Chrissy. Come love and love, light and peace. What can you tell me about yourself? You're hearing things? What is your name? Hello. There are people walking around. <laughs> it's hard to do this, like, you know, in a working museum. <laughs> but I wonder if we did get some stuff. I know we did outside. Um, and I was talking to the tour guide. He's like, when I told him, we heard that I heard the name Stephen, and I'm gonna double check it. Um, he's like, there's only one Stephen we know of. I said, I know. <laughs> so let's let me show you the grand dame herself. There's Miss Eliza with her her grandchildren, who she had adopted. She never had children herself. She adopted children, and she ended up yeah taking care of them.
when I came down here this weekend, I had something grab my throat on these stairs. It feels close. I don't know if you know, understand. It feels like it feels close. There's a lot of noise um, in this kitchen. They kind of replay the sound of what the kitchen would have sounded like. So here we are. So. Now, when we were here during the ghost investigation, somebody had a ghost box like this, like a spirit box, and it went haywire. So I'm curious if that's gonna happen down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it set up. Oh, light changed. I don't think it's gonna come out in the thing, but this has happened before in this house where the light settings seem to go haywire. So let's see. Hello, everybody. Hey, I'm Mode. Very happy to be down here with you. You know, there's a lot of people who worked here and we don't know their names. Can we tell? Can you tell me your name? There's somebody who wants to tell me their name. I know there was a Martha who worked here. Is Martha here? Is there something you want to tell us? We'd like to be able to tell your story. I know the people at the museum want to be able to tell your story. Can you tell us about yourself? Are you resting? Do you like when there are visitors? Would you like me to help you cook something? thing to cook here. Was it hard to cook in that big hearth over there? Well, I want to thank you so much for talking to us and for being with us today. We honor you. Boy, is it loud in here. <laughs> it's interesting because the energy feels completely different um, during the day than it does at night. It's a lot calmer during the day, as I'm sure you can imagine. Um, although some of the rooms still feel really heavy during the day, which is interesting. The stair that stairway is not as bad at all. Um, interesting. So I'm gonna go and say goodbye to the house and say goodbye to the tour guide. Yeah, and we'll see. I will review and I'll put words on screen if I find them. Well, everybody, that was very, very fun. I really enjoyed that and they were incredibly nice and incredibly open to knowing more about the spirits that live with them every day. So if I catch something, I'll be sending it to the Morris Jumel house so that they know what they've got. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you again next time. Bye.